this if you're looking for some extra heavy mayonnaise <laughs> the reason it's heavy there's so much of it almost uh, uh, fourteen dollars and thirty four cents but here's your mayonnaise uh, roast beef in a can uh, <laughs> anybody want to try this uh, look at it's uh 48 ounces three pounds for 16.78 i don't know about it. <laughs> roast beef in a can i just i just don't go for that <laughs> Three pounds of natural shelled walnuts here, and the all natural, eight ninety eight for three pounds. This is a really good deal. Well, today is uh, Sam's Club, so uh, we're gonna go in check prices, and uh, we're gonna compare them to Costco. And uh, let's head in. Let's have some fun. Here are the. Those are hot dog buns. I want the hamburger buns. And look, look at this. Three fifty eight. Sixteen count. And look how many are gone. And I have to reach way down here to grab these guys right here. Sierra Lee, these are really good. These are one of my favorite. And you know what's my favorite is this is the price of these guys. Really like them. Three three fifty eight, and and they've been practically cleaned out of here. It's late in the afternoon, and uh, like I said, these potato rolls they're they're really expensive. Uh, there they are. Yeah, seven dollars. There's no way I'm gonna be buying them, but I'm glad I got these. Wonder Bread here, 468. Wonder Bread, I wonder about that bread. But uh, 468, so that's not too bad. A little over 234, 234, my math is right, uh, per loaf. And look at American Singles, 968. They have gone up in price. They were, I believe, 896 on sale. I got them for 696, but now look at this. Oh man, this is inflation, oh yeah. 968 for my uh for my cheese oh man things are going up but you know that's just part of it and uh wait till uh, later in the year uh things i heard things are really going to be going up but there you go that's part of it right there now i they don't have my orita fries but they have the waffle fries four pounds 748 and they have these sweet potato fries 898 but uh, i don't know you know with sweet potato fries if you don't eat eat them right away once they're out of the oven then they then they get uh, soggy right away but uh, I don't see my um, my crinkle cut fries but I didn't want to pay the price yesterday for $11 at uh, Costco now they hit look $44 this this last time I came these fries were $30 and now they're 44 please do not open box <laughs> but but a, a box like this it looks like it's 30 pounds 44.98 I remember they were a dollar a pound but now they went up $15 and look at they're not selling any of them nope here's the pancake uh, mix that my wife sends to the Philippines to her sister 10 pounds 742 and here's the 1268 same price at uh, at uh, Costco for the organic so we're gonna send a bunch of this and a bunch of that to her sister because they love them and I said you know what we need to get is even some of this uh, pancake syrup just the regular stuff and you know let them try that too because uh, they just don't have this uh, in the Philippines it, you know it's, it's just that's just the way it is but this is really good you know one thing that hasn't changed in price are these uh, oat and honey uh, bars and there's four pounds in here which I like 15 dollars and 48 cents i think this is a good buy great snacks good for you and this hasn't gone up in price but everything else i'm looking at has it has gone up in price this looks like it has too maybe this did go up a dollar i thought i recall seeing it at 14 would not surprise me would not surprise me at all i i like these they're the quaker chewy variety pack but there's only a couple that I like in here. The peanut butter and the chocolate chip. The s'mores aren't that good, but uh, and the Rice Krispie uh, treats here, $9.58 for a big box. I grew up with these. Doesn't, there's not much in them as far as weight-wise. Here's some of the, the canned whole corn, $7.78. And um, it was, uh, I think you had 12 packs of them, and they were around $10 at Costco. And here's the cut green beans. They were the 12 packs, and they were right around $10, $11. So, uh, you know, I think they're comparable for uh, almost a little little under a dollar per can. So that's not bad. And here's the Barilla. Six one-pound packages, $8.98. And I believe they had eight pounds for, what, about $10, $11 at Costco. So still here is just slightly cheaper, and you get a different variety. But it is the Barilla brand, which is good. And here's that uh, Rayos. 
9.98 for two pack 22 ounces so look at this that's not bad someone said this is good so that's 44 ounces for 9.98 i'll have to try it sometime because that's that's only five dollars a jar just to try it if it's good you know then i'll then i'll i'll stick with it <laughs> oh i was looking at the rayos there and now they have low carb whatever this is keto it's keto certified Ooh, i don't even know what that means Yo Mama's <laughs> Roasted Garlic. That's, that's a funny name. $9.98 for that. And Ragu, there's something about the name that just says Ragu that just looks like, I mean, if you take this word off, it's just goo. <laughs> Who wants that stuff? It's just nasty. This is another item that my wife sends to the Philippines to her sister. 18 pack of these Vienna sausages. I don't know why they like them, but they're on our counter at home. <laughs> my wife loves these things. I grew up with them when I was a kid, and we took them camping with us. I was only eight or nine years old, but I still remember these cans. They're probably the same thing, made the same way, but she loves that stuff. And here's the, this is the same price now, $15.88 for the Velveeta. Uh, mac and cheese and here's the same price for the macaroni and cheese they had it on sale the one time but see costco and sam's now they're the same price so things are going up wild albacore tuna in a can 12.98 right here wild caught solid white in water albacore tuna eight five ounce cans and i love tuna it's really good with celery and mayonnaise and and pepper in there oh my gosh and onion mixed together to make a tuna sandwich oh i love that stuff but look at look how much they have an albacore tuna you know i i thought it was rare you know there's one day that we're never going to be able to um there won't be enough albacore to even fish anymore you know i just thought about it it's it's not the albacore it's the bluefin tuna that that i know that it's is very rare in the atlantic water so but i'm sure this is good too look at this roast beef in a can roast beef and beef broth in a can and the sodium 290 milligrams per two ounces look at it they're not selling very many of these guys oh my gosh i don't think i'd try it i mean you know maybe for rations but the uh, holy spoilies uh roast beef in a can uh, <laughs> anybody want to try this um look at it, it's uh 48 ounces three pounds for 16.78 I don't know about it. <laughs> roast beef in a can. I just, I just don't go for that. <laughs> I tell you, the the prices here are same as Costco, and uh, I still say it's hyperinflation because just look at it, what what it was. Let's say four years ago, it's it's gone way up, and uh, we're just getting jabbed. The consumers getting jabbed. The the middle class, we always get jabbed. So, hey, if you guys like this content, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, we're not done shopping yet. Let's go look for some uh, some other crap here. <laughs> Well, if you like to buy mayonnaise in bulk, you've come to the right place. $14 for extra heavy mayonnaise. The reason it's heavy, it's such a big container. <laughs> $14 for this. Oh my gosh, let me hold this guy up. Look at this. If you're looking for some extra heavy mayonnaise, <laughs> the reason it's heavy, there's so much of it. Almost uh, $14.34, but here's your mayonnaise. Now here's some beans. These are some good prices. Pinto beans. Six pack, five ninety eight, right here, and and this is really good for chili. Really good beans, and here's your original baked beans. Bush's best, I think it's the same prices that they had at Costco, and eleven twenty two for eight of them. And your black beans are very comparable to the pinto beans. These are really good. They're good for you. It's a, it's a, um, uh, um, what is it? A complex carbohydrate with beans like this. And look at five ninety eight, and you get six of them there. And then you have the Goya, is that, a, that I pronounce this right? I always destroy names. Goya pink beans right here. Kidney beans, eight eighty eight for eight cans. That's pretty good. It's a good brand. This is good too. This this Sunny's barbecue sauce. This has gone up in price. I remember pricing this not even six months ago uh, when I started my channel, and it was four forty four, I believe. I should look that up. But this used to be cheap. It used to be really affordable. But this has gone up. More inflation. More inflation. That, that's all we're getting anymore. And here's the uh, Sweet Rays, $6.98. I think this has gone up too. Everything just going up in price. But here's two packs of mayonnaise. Two 30 ounces for $7.84. And each one of these would be $5.84. 
if if you went to Walmart or Publix, well, Publix, these would be six ninety eight each. Oh, look at they're made with cage free eggs. <laughs> and someone said to me, you know, next time you look at any tomato sauce or anything, ask them if it's made with cage free tomatoes. <laughs> that sound that was just funny. I really like the selection of spices here at the uh, Sam's, and and the prices are really good. This is your best bet where you're going to buy anything whole whole peppercorns. We always use that. The sea salt, rosemary leaves, uh, the Morton sea salt, the the ground cinnamon, which I really love that on cereal. But all of this stuff is it's all a good price. There's the minced garlic. It still hasn't gone up for this big container of so minced garlic. You're gonna have a lot of bad breath, but it's not a bad price. In the pecan halves here, twelve forty eight for this bag right here. My wife just put some some uh, looks like shelled walnuts in the carton in the basket 48 ounces for 898 and i looked at them and look how big they are they're not they're not broken up like they were at costco 898 for this that's really good that's a good price you could see them in the basket <laughs> there they are three pounds of natural shelled walnuts here and the all natural 898 for three pounds this is a really good deal then your whole almonds here, 48 ounces, $10.28 for these guys. Look at that, it's really nice. Nice, I like stuff like this. And even your sliced almonds, two pounds. Oh, these are really good. Make a great snack. Here's some of the honey I was looking at. The uh, 48 ounces for honey here at uh, Sam's Club, 11.52. And I saw Florida honey, local Florida honey here. Oh, that's crushed. And I believe it's the same price as uh, this, the same stuff that was at Costco. Same price, same price, same high price. And here's some Nature's Nate Organic, 40 ounces, $15.98. So uh, maybe that stuff from Argentina is better, <laughs> even though it flew halfway around the world to get here. But I bet that's really good. But I don't know if I could tell the difference. But those are the prices of honey. Look, they have the Kit Kats on sale, the Kit Kat... Uh, a uh, little uh, ice creams, three dollars off. Eight thirty-eight for these guys. Oh, jeez, and they were delicious too. <laughs> They're all gone, but uh, I already had those. I like the drumsticks, but you know what? I like the price better. Eight thirty-eight for all those guys. Try getting that from Publix or even Walmart. And the Hagen Dazs are on sale. Oh, fifty cents off, but that's fifty cents for these guys. That's I looked at them last time. I like when I see stuff on sale. Oh, that's what I'm. I'm a bargain shopper. Look at the price of these. Call fat boy. Will you eat them and eat enough and you will be. And it looks like the foil is the same price here at Sam's as it was at uh, Costco. Uh, 500 square foot, 1978, the same price. Exactly, and this is what we buy. We got it one time on sale for $14. That's what you have to look for. In heavy duty foil, there's 300 square foot and uh, 17.98. Uh, so those are your prices right there. But if you want to buy 500 feet, 18 by 500 feet, $32. Look at that. <laughs> Holy smolies. Uh, it's still, I still can't get over these. 600 count of 24 paper plates. Or uh, 600 count of 9 inch heavy duty plates, 24. And they don't look heavy duty to me. But that's, there's your paper plates. If you want to get some, $24 for this thing. I still think it's pricey. It's heavy, but uh, you know. 25 got 25 dollars i can't even say it ridiculous isn't it paper plates those are 13.68 these are 17 dollars 17 there's nothing to them look at this 17 dollars for this that's a joke that's just too expensive for something you're going to throw in the garbage and now this is this is sam's club you're not going to see the big piles of water like you do at costco because that was like that's that place is huge and this is what they have here they just don't have very much those are the paper towels that we use 1984 for these guys we've been buying them for years and i remember when they were about 14 15 bucks but now they're now they're 20 dollars for these and um, they go through them and you can see the uh, the charmin ultra soft same as uh, costco 25 dollars Something here was 33, the ultra, ultra soft, but it's gone. <laughs> I don't know why, $28 for ultra strong. I mean, <laughs> ultra strong, really? <laughs> Here's the price of your eggs, $5.98 pasture raised for 18 of them. And they were white ones at Costco 
and they were uh, 590. You got 24 of them, but here there's 18. But now you have limit two 582 cage free. And here you go, the same thing, same price at Costco. At least eggs are coming down a price, and they've got a load of them. Look at all the eggs they have up here. Holy cow! <laughs> all those are eggs. You get 15 dozen here. How do you check to see if any are broken for $40? Oh, limit two. You know what's really good here in Florida? And I've looked at this generator. 1800 watt, it's an inverter generator, which is really quiet. I have one at home, but it's it's it's, it's like this one, and it's noisy. And this one's 399.98, and it'll, it'll power a small AC unit. And you gotta look at the running watts, 1800. And in my uh, unit, doesn't use that many, but 399 is a really good deal. And this has good ratings. And they're all made by the same place. And you know where they're made, they're made in China. Anyways, Westinghouse right here. This is 549. And in Florida, this is really important to have one of these. And this is this is this could almost run your whole house. 8,000 running watts. Wow, 7.99. This one's nice, similar to mine at home. I got a Champion. I bought it here, the same size as this. I paid 2.49 for it, but I like this one. In Florida, it's really like I said. Anywhere along the Gulf Coast, if you want extra power and quiet, one of these is a great deal. 3.99. And here is the exact freezer I have in my garage. 188, the five cubic foot, and there's the seven cubic foot, same price, 248, exactly as Costco, same price, same thing. And here's one of these refrigerators, 595. Oh, the one at uh, the one at Costco is cheaper. Oh my gosh. You know what? I read this wrong. That's a freezer. That's that's a refrigerator. Here is a freezer, and here's a refrigerator with a freezer, $2.99. And this looks really neat here. Well, I can't really open it all the way because it's wedged in here, but $2.99 for this one. I, what was the one at the Costco, $2.49 or was it $4.59? I think it was $2.49, I can't remember. And here's the bleach and it looks like it's gone up. I thought it was 16 before, now it's $18.48 for the bleach. And um, look at, none of it's sold, not a single one. And um, 1848 bleach has gone up and everything else is going up. It looks like everybody is selling electric mowers here, except they're not green. <laughs> 40 volts, so this is battery powered, but what you get three in one, so you get a weed eater, a blower, and the lawnmower, 429. That's not too bad. I mean, you get, you get three items in there, 429. Not bad at all. Now here's something called a yard force, 369, uh, eight front, eight, 12 rear, 8 front wheels. Well, I only see 4 wheels. <laughs> oh, it's a gas mower. It's gas. Holy smolies. Last of the dinosaurs. <laughs> but that's not a bad deal. This right here, you get you get 3 items. The blower, the weed eater, and the uh, lawnmower. 429 It's got Home Depot beat. You know one thing Sam's does sell? Their beds. Their Certas. And this is where we got our mattress. $4.99 for a, a twin and we got a king here and we got it probably five years ago. So we're we're looking around. And what, what size is this? A queen? 549? Yep. And we rented a Home Depot truck and, and brought it home. But they, they sell mattresses here. They even sell the ones in a box. <laughs> Look at 12 inch. You know the ones that uh, you just open it up and, and it just expands. It takes about a day and a half to expand. And uh, King Foam Mattress, six ninety nine. I bet this thing weighs 200 pounds. But uh, a friend of mine bought one, but I don't know, I think they're warm. I think they're warm, but you can see all that they have here and see the prices, $5.99, $7.99, $5.99, $4.99, $6.99, $7.99, $3.99, and $2.99. But, <laughs> yep, but if you want a mattress in a box, this is it. The prices are still crazy on the air filters for the house, and I go through mine every, now in the summer with you know it's it's 80 85 degrees out, and I go through them every two weeks for our air conditioning unit, forty five dollars for four of these guys. It doesn't matter if they're the tiny ones or if they're the the larger ones. It's the same price, and that's expensive. They have that same two person kayak here. It's two ninety nine. <laughs> it was two thirty eight at uh, Costco. You know what, they still have this floating oasis that goes to the ceiling. 
and uh, for $2.99 they still have it. <laughs> they haven't sold any of these. Nope. I mean, who's going to buy one of those things? They're monsters. And they still have these floating islands. Could you imagine that? What happens if it gets punctured? In this thing, how much is that thing? $189. And even Sam's has these uh, inflatable uh, boards here that come in a box. That's crazy. $399. And you know what? They can puncture so easy and they're not that stable. <laughs> and there's a life vest is still the same price it's amazing how things are just all similar in price and uh, he, here's this one I like this boat not included if you're looking for a lot of bubble gum I found it 380 for 928 it comes it comes in a tub <laughs> there you go your dentist will love you for it I found the ultimate junk food box <laughs> Twinkies and Ding Dongs 32 count for nine dollars and 12 cents actually i don't think that's too bad uh as, as far as the price especially for hostess nine dollars and 12 cents that's really not a bad price if you if you bought them singly or let's say at a box at publix or walmart in this hostess blueberry right here these mini muffins i bet they're really good anything the hostess puts out for 9.98 i always try to find bargains and uh i think this is a bargain well, I hope everybody enjoyed the uh, the shopping adventure here at uh, Sam's Club, and I was comparing prices between here and Costco. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Give me a thumbs up for like. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until next time, this is Scott with The Real Economy. We'll see you.